The technology of transhumanism is new, and there are new developments every day. But the philosophies are old. And, and I think that we need to go to the roots, right? Not just sort of say, ooh, technology is scary, or ooh, they're going to do something horrible tomorrow. But why is it that intelligent people start to think that, yeah, maybe we can download our personality. Before we get to our clip, do us a favor and click subscribe and that bell button below. Two thirds and of people who watch us regularly aren't yet subscribed and it really supports the channel. When you do subscribe, it's free, costs nothing, and I really appreciate it. So there's a thinker that I've really enjoyed uh, reading and studying, Martine Rothblatt. Martine Rothblatt actually founded uh, the Sirius Radio Network and has also done a lot of other work, including really interesting products, uh, really interesting work in terms of uh, medical care and treatment. And so very accomplished, intelligent thinker. And Rothblatt has written articles and an entire book about the relationship between transgenderism and transhumanism. Rothblatt was born as a a biological man Mm -hmm. and presents as a woman. Right. So clearly on board with transgenderism, right? Uh, Practicing Mm -hmm. the creed, if you will. And Rothblatt has written to say that transhumanism is the next logical step. Uh, Rothblatt says, look, transgenderism taught us that something as fundamental as our sexual identity is not determined by our biological anatomy. Transhumanism is going to show us that our very humanity is not determined by our biology Mm. at all. So you can see this logical natural development. We're constantly overcoming the body. For me, I would think that the next logical step is for men to identify as animals, all Mm. sorts of animals. That seems to be... Well, that does that does happen at least it's within our, it's within our grasp at least. Right, what you're right. talking about with transhumanism, digitally uploading ourselves to the matrix or something seems so, far fetched. Yeah, far fetched. Yeah, yeah. Well, you do occasionally get some of this trans speciesism and guys who identify as cats or trans ageism. Is ch- that a trans ageism? I mean, there's some really sad stories of individuals who basically live as though they're little babies. Mm -hmm. Um, There's another case which is sad, but maybe a little bit humorous of this man who wanted to officially change his age from say 69 to 48. Mm -hmm. And he said that when he was going on these dating app services that he'd always get ads for elderly women, you know, of his age group. Mm -hmm. And said, no, no, I I want to approach younger women and and I I feel youthful and and Mm -hmm. vibrant. And it was very precise though, it was something like 48. You know, it wasn't some ideal, oh, I want to go back to 25 or 30. It was, no, I feel like 48. You know, I'm Mm -hmm. I'm not that young, but I'm 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 younger than people I identify me as. And and some of his friends just kind of commonsensically said, so why don't you just change your age on this service, right? And his response was interesting. He said, well, I don't want to lie. So there was this profound conviction that no, somehow who I truly am, this mysterious inner self that I have discovered through an introspective process is this 48-year-old, even though biologically and legally everyone identifies me as 69, right? So it's it's that break between the true inner self and this outward body. And the outward body is a tool. It's an instrument. It's basically raw material that we're called to manipulate. So it's interesting because we've we've seen in these past years how technological advances have allowed us to very radically manipulate the body for those who struggle with gender dysphoria and, and other ideas about their own internal uh, gender identity, right? And so we can do a lot that we couldn't do years ago in terms of manipulating the body. And what Rothblatt and the other transhumanists are saying is, okay, let's just take this principle further and let's use our new tools to accelerate this and to assert ourselves more fully. And Rothblatt is also very interesting uh, in saying, humanity is fundamentally self-creating. That's the key to who we are, self-creators, self-inventors. And this comes up all the time in the transhumanist literature. But again, this idea has been with us for generations. This idea of you do you, this idea of that inner self, 
Uh, lots of authors like Charles Taylor and, and Bella and others have spoken of expressive individualism. You, you look inside yourself, you find who that true self is, you project it, and then society needs to recognize that. Mm -hmm. It needs to approve it. It even needs sometimes maybe to celebrate it. So we see this clearly in different expressions of transgender ideology more recently. But again, these ideas are old. The technology of transhumanism is new and there are new developments every day. But the philosophies are old. Mm. And, and I think that we need to go to the roots, right? Not just sort of say, ooh, technology is scary or ooh, they're going to do something horrible tomorrow. But why is it that intelligent people start to think that, yeah, maybe we can download our personality and mm -hmm. maybe we can upload that to a network. And maybe I should devote my riches that could go to uh, supply clean drinking water or mosquito nets or food to poor individuals. I'm going to spend that money instead on technology mm -hmm. to do whole brain emulation, where I basically try to map out all of the connections uh, of our neurons and get all of the data of our brain to then store and transfer. Well, like I said, you can transfer that to a better body that you develop in the lab. You can transfer that to a realistic robot, mm -hmm. but eventually we want to get past even the limits of being in just one place at one time, mm -hmm. get that to the network. And I can somehow have simultaneously all of these extraordinary experiences that maybe I can't even imagine right now.